everyone and welcome to our daily manna. Please open your Bible in the Gospel of John chapter 10 verses 11 to 15. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep knows me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. May the good Lord bless us upon the reading of His Holy Word. In this passage, Jesus explains what it means to have the heart of a shepherd. The true shepherd is contrasted with the false who are merely thieves that come among the sheep to steal, kill, and destroy. They have no heart for the sheep, but only for themselves. They grab, exploit, manipulate, and harm. But the good shepherd desires what is good for his sheep. I come according to what Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 10, to give life to the people and that life abundantly without end. He comes for the people to enter into the true life to which he has done and demonstrated to the fullest. Having a shepherd's heart also means knowing your sheep and being known by them. The shepherd lives very close to the sheep under their care. They are accustomed to hearing the voice of their shepherd. They follow him with joy and he cares for each of them with individual attention. Do you believe what you've heard today? That God is a shepherd who supplies all the needs of his people in his flock. That if Jesus is this divine shepherd who came to the world and revealed the heart of God by willingly offering his life for us. If you can believe this, if you can receive this gospel, if you can trust yourself to Jesus, the good shepherd, you will never need to doubt again about God's character towards you. According to what Apostle Paul beautifully and powerfully says in the book of Romans chapter 5 verses 5 to 8, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Before Jesus Christ came, there was no one able to be saved from sin, but God chose a time and sent him to die on the cross out of love for sinners. It is quite difficult to find someone who will die in place of another person, especially if they're good. But it is rare for one to give their life for a very good person. Yet God look at how He loves us, because he, even when we were sinners, Christ died for us. God's love is already poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit given to us. God showed His love for us while we were yet sinners, but Christ died for us all. When I had no permanent place, a lost ship, Christ died for me. When I was powerless and could not save myself, Christ died for me. As I believe in this gospel of the Good Shepherd who gives His life for the sheep, the Holy Spirit enters my heart and fills me with assurance that God is wonderfully kind. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you are our Good Shepherd. Help us to know where we stand with you and help us to trust your voice wherever you lead us. We praise you, Lord Jesus, for your sacrificial love and perfect love. The Lamb who was slain is worthy to receive power, wealth, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and praise. We offer deep appreciation and loving praise for your grace and mercy. In the name of our only Savior of the world, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Good day, everyone, and God bless.